We've all come across some pretty problematic people in our lives. Some of them do things so petty it's hard to comprehend for a normal person. But would they behave the same way if there was a camera filming them and they knew about it? We doubt it. The people we'll be showing you in today's video aren't lucky enough, or should we say aware enough of their surroundings, to notice that their nasty or silly actions are being recorded by nearby CCTV cameras. You'll be amazed to find out what kind of lunatics are out there. From a driver destroying other cars while parking, to an aggressive woman destroying her husband's car, we've got it all. But before we head over to these incredulously bizarre things done by people, make sure you've subscribed to our channel and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. After all, you don't want to miss out on similar saucy content, right? Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started. Sometimes our urge to show off can backfire in our faces, so it's better to reconsider. Maybe don't drive your new car up to a friend's house to gloat about it. Just settle for a social media post. This man definitely wishes he stuck to posting pictures of his car on Instagram. What happened was that this unfortunate guy bought a brand new Porsche Taycan, and like any other guy who scores a car worth more than $130,000, he wanted to drive up to his friends and show off his cool new ride. But since the new owner wasn't yet used to driving this car and still needed some practice for smooth sailing, he ended up in this terrible situation. While trying to park the car in his friend's driveway, the poor man pressed on the gas instead of the brakes, and the lost new jewel of a car ended up crashing into two other cars that were parked closely. The Porsche ended up on top of the second car parked on the roadside, as you can witness, and all three cars suffered quite a lot of damage, but the Porsche took the worst hit. The man who just wanted to show the new Porsche to his friends ended up with a banged up piece of junk within a matter of seconds. Although insurance would have covered these damages and ethically speaking he should have paid for the damages he caused to the other two cars, one thing's for sure, he'll think twice about driving a new and expensive car uphill before practicing on it for a while. Another one with a drunk guy trying to park a car, except in this one he's causing damage to many others without knowing that it's all being filmed by CCTV cameras in the parking lot, just like the previous one. This guy was coming back from a party and of course he'd had one too many to drink. Technically speaking, he shouldn't even have been driving, but like that ever stops people from driving under the influence and causing horrifying accidents. As we all know, being excited causes our visual faculties to become weak, and this is exactly what happened to this driver. He was trying to park the car, but instead of driving into an empty spot by the cars you can see, he decided to park in an already occupied spot. He drove straight into the parked car, dragged it further until it fell into a ditch, and meanwhile dented the two cars parked parallel to that one. If that wasn't enough, he also wanted to park properly, so with his drunk mind he hit the gas fully in reverse and ended up crashing into the wall behind. So much for accurate parking. As you can see, the wall was destroyed and so was this man's car. The driver was probably injured, but hey, he managed to get a good parking spot, right? Back in the year 2008, the infamous holiday liner, the Pacific Sun, was en route to the port and was expected to arrive after an overnight trip with its 1,732 passengers and 671 crew members. They were expected on the port by daybreak. But around 650 kilometers north of New Zealand, the liner was hit by a huge and unexpected storm. It was certainly one of a kind, with waves of more than 8 meters in height, pushed by 50 knot winds. This event took the travelers by surprise, and they started to panic a little. As you can see in the video footage from inside during the storm, the situation looks quite funny, with furniture sliding in all directions and passengers waltzing around involuntarily with the rhythm of the waves. However, it wasn't as light a situation as it seemed because around 42 passengers sustained injuries as a result of this storm, and several banged their heads in the pillars. Luckily, there were no casualties, and everyone calmed down after the ship stabilized. They arrived at their destination safely after a few hours. To make up for this uncomfortable and terrifying experience, the company P&O offered them a 25% discount on any future trips aboard the Pacific Sun. We, however, have serious doubts anyone would want to avail this discount after their recent death scare at sea. In this next video, you can see that these two people are waiting to unload the stock freshly arrived in the morning. They're all amped up and ready to unload this cargo truck carrying dozens of beer crates, and who knew today was their unlucky day. As you can see, it's clear that the truck has more weight than it should be carrying, and there are just two people present to handle the heavy lifting. They probably have years of experience doing this, but some days are just not meant to go smoothly. As they try pulling the cargo elevator and it doesn't budge, they decided to exert some extra force in the hopes of taking out the crate. 
But what they didn't suspect was that all these crates filled with beer bottles would come crashing down on their heads within a swift second, just because they were being too reckless. They watched in utter disbelief as the hundreds of bottles crashed to the ground, shattered and spilled their contents everywhere. The poor men can't even pretend this never happened because their employer probably saw everything from the CCTV camera. They sure must be worried about losing their jobs, and rightfully so, because there's a good chance they'll have to pay for the damages they caused, even if by accident. This recording is from the West Midlands of England. These two hooded figures you see are scouting this Mercedes parked in the owner's garage. As you'll see, these two men aren't just your ordinary thieves. They came here with a proper plan. Their objective was to steal the car without needing the keys to open or start it. They intended to do so by employing a method called relay theft. This method employs two boxes, one of which is held by the thief standing close to the garage door so it could capture the signal transmitted by the key. The second thief with the second box was waiting right next to the car for the signal. As soon as this was done, the car could be opened and all they had to do was drive away in it. Turns out these men weren't as clever as they thought because if they were, how on earth would they have ignored to acknowledge the security camera filming them carrying out their heist? This footage will aid the police in finding the culprits and sending them to jail, but for the time being, they're still nowhere to be found. This pregnant woman you see is a citizen of Brazil, and a few years ago her video went viral online, and we kind of sympathize with her. She was living a happily married life with her beloved husband, that is, until one night she went through his phone and discovered that he was cheating on her with another woman. To get even for the extramarital affair, the distraught lady went to her husband's workplace where his car was parked. She destroyed it with everything she could get her hands on. Her bubbling rage got an outlet in form of his car, which she smashed until it looked like a piece of junk. The furious pregnant woman climbed on the top of the car and continued to defile it, while passers-by watched her with surprise and someone filmed the entire situation. We're sure this was the end of their marriage, but hey, at least she got her revenge, right? This happened in Germany, when a fire truck was with its wailing siren trying to get to its rescue destination. But as the signal turned red, the car ahead of the fire engine in the right lane had to naturally stop. The truck kept wailing to signal the driver of his car that he should switch lanes and give way. But to everyone's surprise, this guy decided to stay put and didn't let the fire truck pass. Despite the persistent siren, the car in front of the truck didn't budge until the light went green. The stubborn driver refused to move even after the truck gave horns, asking for passage. It wasn't until the cars on the left decided to help out and the one in front drove ahead and a few of the others backed up so the truck could switch lanes and speed up to whatever emergent disaster awaited rescue. The stubborn driver, however, was filmed by the CCTV cameras and will be known in the history of drivers as the world's most petty and stupid driver. Maybe he'll learn some manners and ethics when he sees this video trending on the internet with people condemning his childish behavior. This man, named Ryan Favreau, was having a great day in Toronto when he decides to walk into a coffee shop and get himself a beverage to go. On his way out, he saw this woman you can all see in the footage. She was carrying two drinks in her hands, but that wasn't her offense. Ryan quickly noticed that she was parked in the handicapped parking spot while being completely healthy and able. This ignorant behavior by the woman annoyed Ryan, and he asked her whether she was disabled and what had inspired her to park in the handicapped spot if she wasn't. Are you handicapped? Yeah. Well, what makes you so special that you can park in a handicapped spot? The woman was a true Karen because she showed no remorse for violating the rules and just got into her car. But when Ryan's continuous questioning and badgering didn't stop, she finally took offense and reacted. Luckily for Ryan, he was filming the whole fiasco. Special that you can park in a handicapped spot. Record me, I'll break your Unfortunately for her, Ryan was very persistent and wouldn't back down, so she finally reacted by throwing the two hot coffees she was holding at Ryan. This footage quickly went viral on the internet and even prompted the Toronto police to take notice. Hot? Hot? I'm taking this to the police. Good for you. you assaulted me. Good for you. you assaulted me. Ryan, however, decided not to press any charges for the assault, but despite that, the authorities paid her a visit to remind her of the basic rules and regulations of public conduct. Although Ryan ended up with a scalded face and neck, he can sleep with a clear conscience as he stood up for what is right. In this village located in England, this young man was provoked by some innate evil force while he was walking around. When he noticed a car parked in front of a house, he decided to take a shot at stealing it as the street was empty and so no one could see him, or so he thought. If only he knew this would become the most embarrassing moment of his life and trend on the internet. 
He grabbed a brick and tried to smash the car window, but unfortunately, the brick hit the metal sheath and recoiled back, hitting him hard in the face. Funny, right? The thief wasn't expecting this hard to come back from the car and bends down in pain, after which he accepted defeat and went on his way a few seconds later. No doubt this guy will never consider stealing a car again with his blown nose and the footage that can easily have him arrested by the police. Before moving to number one, here is something you wouldn't expect to happen in any car showroom. We have this video of a salesman working in a car dealership. He's truly a jolly, confident man. A little too confident, if we must say. He's famous for his eccentric sales pitches to customers, and one of these made him famous on the internet when one customer discreetly recorded him providing a little too much evidence of the car's sturdiness. He presented the vehicle by smashing its doors closed with incessant force, and if that wasn't enough, he climbed up on it, straddled it, and shook it violently as an answer to the customer inquiring him about the car's robustness. He did manage to prove the car was pretty solid, but what if he had damaged it? We're sure enough that since the video has gone viral, he sticks to a more orthodox way of selling. In July 2016, a woman named Amanda was driving to the pharmacy to get medication for her son, whom she'd left home alone. She's a resident of Leighton, Utah. Being a concerned mother with a child home alone waiting for her, she tried to go a little over the speed limit and ended up crashing her car into another one. She called the police to the scene, but when they arrived and assessed the situation, they began to doubt her sobriety. She submitted to a blood alcohol test, but doesn't show any cooperation. This behavior on her part made the policeman decide to immobilize her with cuffs and then begin a body search while maintaining her with the handcuffs. The video of the search was recorded by the dashcam, and you can see that the body search agitated Amanda, who decided to file a complaint against the officer for sexual misconduct and making inappropriate gestures on her chest. Her complaint was, however, rejected by the authorities after checking the dashcam footage, which, according to them, show the officer employing standard search protocol. No doubt she'll think twice before speeding ever again in her life. That was all about the incredulous people who put up quite a show not knowing they were being filmed. Do tell us in the comments section which one made you laugh the most. For more funny and informative videos, keep watching the channel. See you all next time.